Hi, this is Maria Pavia, and I'm sitting in a bit of a noisy place, but there's a reason for this, um, because I'm sitting at the Innovation Centre um, in our wonderful little kind of contact area. So you can see people behind me, and there's all these places where we can sit. Whoops, I nearly lost my head there. Where we can sit, and actually around here, we've got the cafe, which you can see in the background there. Um, and the reason that I'm here talking about this wonderful space that we've got developed um, amongst all these people is really to get across the importance of human contact, which is something that we're really working at here at the Innovation Centre, and it's great to see. I mean, actually, you can you can you might even be able to see outside. We've got tables and chairs outside, or maybe a bit too bright. Um, but, but why is this important? Well, the importance of human connection. Um, and not only human connection, but look, come with me, come with me, look, dog connection too, hello, hello, so dog connection is just as important, in fact we've got a, a dogs can come to work here, which is amazing, because when dogs are at work, it actually does reduce the um, amount of stress that people feel, and so does making contact with people, so does speaking to people and making eye contact, um, the key to it is that when you make eye-to-eye -eye contact with people, when you really make that connection, it actually changes your body chemistry. So it creates a change in your oxytocin levels. And when that happens, the good thing is it actually has a positive effect on your, on your stress levels. It changes the way you feel about stress. It, instead of having that sense of being really kind of tense and anxious, it takes that and turns it into a sense of being really kind of energized and courageous. So get out and talk to more people, make contact with people, smile at people and um, take a bit of time because that little bit of time that you take to speak to people and um, to connect and with your animals. Um, we know that dogs actually get an increase in oxytocin when we make um, eye to eye contact with them, just like human beings. So, you know, it's not just us, but mammals generally um, respond well to contact. So if you can't go around hugging everybody and it's not always appropriate, then definitely walk around and smile. Now, um, Henrietta Hughes, the um, National Guardian uh, for the NHS, said to me, she had a little policy, which I thought was wonderful, and that was if you come within 10 feet of somebody, um, you smile, but if you come within any less than that, you actually say hello and it's this idea of making contact and she was a big proponent of let's increase the oxytocin levels that we have in our workplaces and good for her of course she got terrible press for it because um that's what happens when you try to <laughs> do the right thing sometimes particularly in the nhs i'm just saying but um but she's absolutely right and we need to do this more we need to make contact with each other um, make eye contact, talk to each other, and you can hear, and I hope that you can hear that not only is there a little buzz of noise here, but there's also laughter going on, which of course is a great way to reduce your stress and increase your productivity as well. So get out, speak to people, anybody, say hello, hide less, chat more, in the words of Naomi Edmondson, check out her art she does marvelous graffiti art um, and it's got wonderful messages so check out Naomi Edmondson and, uh, and read what she says and yeah let's all hi bless chat more speak to you soon